So, hello and welcome back to Some Boy Online. Now, it's been a long, long time. But um, today's kind of a special video and a return of Some Boy Online because it's uh, nearly Red Nose Day. And a lot of people have been nice enough to inform us that there is a Red Nose Day grommet mug as part of a, a Wallace and Gromit collection. So today we're going to be reviewing that mug. But as you can see, the kind of setup I've got is very different. It's not yet finished and I want to finish it soon. But yeah, things aren't quite in place yet. What is that? So yeah, in today's video, we're going to be looking at the Red Nose Gromit mug um, from TK Maxx, which I've ordered uh, quite a while ago now, and I've been looking forward to reviewing, so that's what we're going to be doing. If I can move the original Gromit mug aside, and here we have the package, oh, which is kind of like a basket of eggs or something that's been lying dormant for quite some time and um, we can get to unwrapping it like the good old days this is actually quite familiar wrapping paper it's what they used on the uh, different grommet mugs that we've seen in the past yeah chuck all that round and round again then we have the box that was quite simple um, yeah, so the difference being an actual interesting thing about this grommet mug is that it's actually available in stores. Probably, maybe for the first time since the original PG Tips ones, because the Half Moon Bay ones were available online and occasionally at special gift shops and stuff, but these are for sale in any TK Maxx store because of the whole fundraising for Comic Relief thing, uh, which is a charity in the UK. If I take this away. Da -da -da -da. Rather familiar. There we go. Got a red-nosed grommet mug for Red Nose Day. Now, the concept of this one you might find familiar if you've seen grommet mugs in the past. And that's primarily because the original from 2005 had this thermal nose feature, which meant that when you poured hot water into the mug, the nose would turn red. And I suppose it became quite synonymous with the grommet mug because any damaged ones would just have the red nose all of the time. So it's quite appropriate that we got this one for Red Nose Day, as I think the Gromit mug continues to kind of grow in popularity. I've seen even Ardman themselves have now acknowledged it plenty of times. I don't know how much of that is down to these videos making the way around the internet, which is bizarre. It's really weird. But yeah, let's get him. Let's have a look at the box. We can see that it has Comic Relief, Red Nose Day, X Ardman at the top as part of the collaboration, whilst it's supported by TK Maxx and HomeSense, with the title being 3D Gromit Mug. We can flip around to the side and it has Thank You for Buying This Red Nose Day 3D Mug for Comic Relief, with a depiction of Gromit with the red nose. We can flip it around to the other side, we've got a nice graphic of the red nose Gromit making some tea. If we flip it around again, we've got this lovely graphic of Wallace and Gromit with their red noses. And it's nice to see this um, kind of cross-promotion stuff um, used everywhere. I've seen a video of Peter Capaldi, who was Doctor Who, um, sporting some of the Wallace and Gromit merch, which is really cool. Lots of celebrities have been, and it's been, you know, just publicised quite a bit. Once again, with the build-up to... Wallace and Gromit's return this year. I think this should um, help push it along nicely, you know. But without further ado, you can see the Gromit mug peeking through there. I can feel them too. And let's let's take them out and have a look at them. So yeah, if we open the box, you can see the inside. Open the top. Now uh, there's just literally two bits of cardboard, probably not as much packaging as previous Gromit mugs. And we can pull him out. And there he is. Yeah, what's really interesting about this Gromit mug is that it's not listed as being by Half Moon Bay, the creators of the most recent Gromit mug products. 
And yet, this mold is pretty identical to that latest grommet mug. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same. Um, but if we have a look at the bottom, you've got the admin copyright notice and comic relief, and there is no mention of Half Moon Bay. So whether they were involved or not, I'm not sure. But yeah, the build quality and stuff is the same. I suppose we can compare them, but the red nose of the Gromit mug is probably brighter than the PG Tips version. It's this lovely bright red, which matches the Comic Relief logo and the red noses that we see depicted on the art. And if we pull in the original Half Moon Bay Gromit mug, yeah, he looks pretty identical. If we were to put them there, alongside each other, now it's like it, it's it's the same picture. It's this it's the same thing. There could be a slight difference in color, like the the kind of fleshy tone or clay tone that we've got going on. Yep. So identical to this one. Um, but if we bring in, we've got the original one for comparison's sake uh, by PG Tips. Uh, this one doesn't have like the full red nose because it was kind of damaged. But you can see the, the hints of it if I um, bring them closer to the camera. You can see the chips showing through, which is the case for many, many a grommet mug with that different design and the raised eyebrow, of course. A bit smaller in size. In the future, if there are more grommet mugs, might have to do an updated every grommet mug video. But I think that gives you a good enough idea of what to expect from this one. So if you want to support Comic Relief and get yourself a grommet mug, um, it's a good opportunity to do so in TK Maxx stores. I'll probably leave a link in the description, but there's also a load of Wallace and Gromit products as part of this collaboration. Uh, there's a Wallace mug, which is Sin, but that's that's a thing as well, with a red nose, and plenty of t-shirts and all that lovely stuff. But yeah, speaking of red nose day, it reminded us that I actually have, for some reason, quite this like vast collection of red noses, just from years gone by. Um, for example, that went well. Um, this is Captain Punk. I remember it being like a particularly rare red nose from like the school playground in 2011. It was because I remember Matt Smith's Doctor Who was wearing this one. Um, so there's him. He had this one and this one, which were the names escape me, but they were like monster things. So there's them, and then years after that, I don't remember the order, but there was dinosaurs at some point. Was it him? Bloody hell! Was it a pound? It was always a pound, I think. And then you, you know, you'd collect them all, and it went from like three different ones to collect to like twelve or something. So there's a ninja and a dog. There you go with a like reverse color scheme to Gromit. You've got this vampire and an uh, old bloke and a spaceman. I'm sure there's people who knows all of the names of these and like a viking and a triceratops. I remember some of them were in the same collection because they had these themes but it got to a point where I kind of got lost off with them. Now remember this bloke which must have been I say bloke, it's a flipping monster but um, when did he come out? I'm sure I was in school then as well. But yeah, that's... I remember... Right. There you go. So... <laughs> that this, this is the purpose of a red nose. And I sound like I've got a really bad cold. So I think they actually designed these to be more, like, ergonomic over time. This one is difficult to breathe in. <laughs> but, yeah, I remember these ones the most. And... I suppose it's a weird thing of British culture that no one would, no one else really understand. But another interesting fact is that Red Nose Day was created by a comedian called Lenny Henry, which 
might not mean a lot to some of you. Some of you it might strike fear into the hearts of, and that's if you've heard of live action Wallace and Gromit, because Lenny Henry actually created that and played both Wallace and Gromit. Wee Gromit, I'd love a cheese toasty. The, the man responsible for this is the same one that is responsible for that. Hopefully, in the future, I should be able to bring more videos to everyone. You know, the return of some boy online in full force. I haven't really stopped because I've been doing a lot of room stuff, which you can't see all of, but I've got like an entirely new setup here. Basically, thanks for bearing with us if, you know, you're all still here. And yeah, there's lots of exciting stuff to come in the future. Here's a grommet mug with a red nose. On that note, thanks for watching some boy online and I will see you next time.